Barrett. What's up? Have you ever been attacked by a toilet? I probably can't say I have. Oh man. I was sitting in my office the other night and Alex comes in and says, there's something wrong with the toilet. And I was like, whatever, I'm coming, you know. So I go in there and it sounds like, you know, water's running between the flapper and the tank. So I go to grab the, the lid uh, on the back of the tank and I propped it up on the back and you know so you can reach down in there sometimes and just clean off the flapper with your hand and it'll seal better mm -hmm. this toilet's like 50 years old this house is you know we're renting we're getting ready to move into our new house but we're still having to use the crapper in the old house so <clears throat> anyway I also got the plague anyway so I went in there Stay on topic. track, Tony. Stay on topic, Tony. Anyway, I went in there and propped the tank lid up on the back. Okay, you can normally do that, right? Well, this tank, this lid had the camphered edges mm -hmm. on it, right? So when I sat it up there, I thought it was sitting up there good, but it slid down inside the toilet tank and broke the dang thing. And here comes, now this is the old tank, right? It's huge. There's probably 10 gallons of water in there. Not that much, but the whole floor instantly flooded. And here goes, you know, since the tank busted and the water's coming out, here goes the water gushing out of the toilet to fill up the tank again, right? So I grab uh, the float on, you know, I grab the float and raise it up because I know that'll turn the water off, right? Mm -hmm. So here comes Karen, she hears the commotion. She's like, what's wrong with your leg? And I look down and my God, there was blood all over the floor. Part of the tank had fell off and hit me on the leg and it tore out a gash, I literally like a half inch wide, whatever the thickness of the old cer uh, ceramic porcelain, whatever it is, toilet tank had hit me in the leg and tore out a three inch chunk a three inch long chunk. Just blood just running all over the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. So here I am, I can't move because I got a hold of the daggum float and if I let go of it, water's gonna st keep gushing out. So we had a full fledged catastrophe on our hands. So I asked Alex, I said, go get me a coat hanger. God bless Alex, he comes back with a plastic coat hanger. I was like, no, I need a wire coat hanger. So he came back, he comes back with a wire coat hanger and I tie up the float uh, so it'll stay up. Thankfully, half the tank was kind of still there and the, the handle was still there. So I tied off the float, I tied it oh, okay. up. So it would, so the toilet would think there was water in the tank, right? And it, then we go down to grab the shut off and the shut off is like rusted open you can't close it <clears throat> so anyway a day later i start getting this crud so i'm theorizing that i got the plague out of the toilet water <laughs> hmm. but I, not really because the water in the tank obviously is clean water but i don't know where i got this crud man it's bad i i lay in the bed for the last couple of days and it's been i don't know hmm anyway that's my story of being attacked by a toilet and getting and see my wife was like you need to go get stitches i said there ain't nothing to stitch you can't you can't stitch up you can stitch a cut up right but if it tears out flesh out of your leg you can't stitch that up all you can do is bandage it so what i did was oh i know i've not, never seen the injury i see what you're saying you don't want to see it trust me i don't yeah i got a big old bandage and slapped it on there and I grabbed my tourniquet this is why you should always have a tourniquet I didn't need the tourniquet I didn't use the tourniquet as a tourniquet I used it as a gauze like a bandage I put a big you know like a three inch by four inch band, uh, gauze on there packed it on there and then I wrapped it with the tourniquet and obviously again I just used it to wrap it I didn't Yeah. but uh you gotta have a first aid kit around, guys. You never know when a toilet's gonna attack you. You just really don't. And uh, 
anyway that's just want to let people know why i haven't been making videos in the last week if i'm just all beat up man not, not doing good i'm all beat right. up i need britney spears to come visit me I'm uh, sorry, that's a little inside joke we have in our family, a little between the boys and me. Uh, Bear's like, Before no, she went crazy. Huh? Dad would say that before she went crazy. Yeah. That was, that was a while well, ago. <laughs> she seems to be back to normal yeah, now. Yeah, she's back to normal. She ain't like Marina Joyce. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's another video. Anyway, try to get back to normal soon. Thanks, guys.